There's a lot of good, practical, financially savvy reasons to move to Mexico City. But honestly, it's not only been great for my finances to live here, but it's also been good for my soul. Hey guys, it's your girl Rose. Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a video. I know I haven't been super consistent about uploading and I'm not happy about that. And I do intend to get back on track. But in all fairness, I had a pretty good reason. I was in the middle of moving to Mexico City. So your girl was busy. We have a lot to catch up on ever since my last video. So my last video I posted about my trip to Sequoia National Park in my van. And I've been doing full-time van life in the US since last December, but I actually decided to take a break from van life. I parked my van in Las Vegas on a friend's property for free and decided to head over to Mexico City to feel a little bit more grounded and settled and experience city life for a while. It is such an amazing city. I am actually this close to buying a place here and I've been really deep into the process of how to buy property here as a foreigner. I'll be doing a detailed breakdown of that in another video. Meanwhile, if you're wondering why Mexico City, Rose? That's exactly what I want to talk to you about in today's video. Mainly, I was just ready for a new adventure to start a new chapter of my life. And I was ready to move out of Denver where I'd been living for the last few years and just explore something new. But other than just wanting new adventure, being 30 something and single and no kids and just wanting to try something new, I do have a couple of really good practical reasons for why I moved here. So if you've ever thought about moving to another city or foreign country, I hope these reasons will help you also get clear on what things to consider before making such a move. All right, so first and foremost, my number one reason for moving here is low cost of living. I am all about doing what's best for my finances not because I'm a money hungry, greedy bitch, but because to me, there's just nothing more important than freedom, financial freedom. And living in a low cost of living city allows me that freedom, especially these days with the cost of rent and everything going up like crazy. I think this is super important. It's ironic because when you live in a high cost of living city like New York or San Francisco, yes, it's a lot of fun and you can get really high paying jobs in cities like that. But after paying state and city taxes and all the rent, you're not left with that much. And so I find that in these kinds of cities, people are just working and hustling like sort of on this hamster wheel just to get by. And I really didn't want that for myself, which is why even though I did consider moving back to New York City, where I spent most of my 20s and had an amazing time, I really didn't want to go back to paying 10% plus in state and city taxes and paying like $3,000 a month to live in a closet. So just think about it, if you can keep X percent more of what you make, you can build wealth that much faster and retire that much faster. And what city you choose to live in is a huge decision that will impact your finances more than probably anything else you can do in your life. Now, Mexico City is low cost of living, but only if you're coming from a country with a stronger currency like the US or Canada. I understand it's a position of privilege and that for Mexican locals, Mexico City is actually quite expensive if you earn in pesos. But if you earn in dollars, your housing expenses here are gonna be ridiculously low. $500 a month to rent a beautiful apartment in a great neighborhood is totally normal in this city. And you definitely won't find that in any big cosmopolitan city in the US. Which brings me to reason number two for wanting to live in Mexico City. I love this place because of all the culture and diversity. It is so cosmopolitan. In terms of things to do, there is no shortage. Now I'm very much a homebody Netflix and chill kind of person normally, but any night of the week, if I did want to go out, there are cool things to do 24 seven. I've been invited to do everything from queer rooftop brunch parties on a Sunday to chamber music concerts at the beautiful Palacio de Bellas Artes to random Japanese art exhibitions on a Thursday night. It's amazing. I honestly feel like I'm in a more chilled out, warmer weather, Latin version of New York City. Not to mention the best Korean barbecue that I've ever been to, I found right here in Mexico City. Turns out Mexico City has a little district called Koreatown, known as Pequeño Seoul or Little Seoul in Spanish. And there I find all the shops that I love, Korean beauty skincare products, the snacks that I grew up eating. It's so cool. So while there's a lot of really cool cities in the world to live in, unless there's access to really good kimchi and Korean food, I'm gonna have a hard time feeling at home. So whether there's a community of your ethnicity in that city, 
could be an important factor for you when deciding whether or not to move somewhere. Not to mention there is a huge digital nomad and expat community in Mexico City. I have met tons of Americans, Australians, Canadians, Europeans, Argentines, Colombians. I mean, people from all over the world come here to do cool things. So although I haven't spread my social butterfly wings here quite yet, I am definitely looking forward to finding my tribe here and I know that I'm going to. All right, reason number three. As much as there is to do in the city, sometimes you also need to just get away into nature, which brings me to reason number three for moving to Mexico City, access to nature. There is a huge park here called Bosque de Chapultepec, which is one of the largest urban parks in the Western Hemisphere. You can totally get lost just biking, walking around the lakes, the trees, the greenery. You won't even know that you're in a city. Not to mention, even in the city streets, there are so many plants lining all the streets, like vines and trees and flowers. And so it's really amazing. Even though you're in this urban central area, you could be in the middle of a bunch of greenery. So that's for in the city. But if you also wanted to get out of the city, you can take a flight and literally be at the beach within an hour. For example, Acapulco has a beautiful beach and it's only a 30 minute flight away from Mexico City. Not to mention, this flight costs under $100. And of course, there's Puerto Escondido, Cabo, Tulum, a bunch of other beaches within a three, four hour flight from the capital. So the ability to get out of the city easily was a really big factor for me in choosing Mexico City. As the capital of Mexico, Mexico City is very well connected to every part of Mexico, but it's also super well connected to the rest of the world. My friends and family are everything to me, so it was really important that even though I'm living abroad, I wanted to be able to visit them easily and often. Mexico City is close enough to the States that visiting my parents on the East Coast or visiting my friends on the West Coast, where most of them are, is a matter of booking a four or five hour flight. Not only this, but there's a ton of nonstop international flights as well. London is 10 hours nonstop, Madrid 11 hours nonstop, Tokyo 15 hours nonstop, and Buenos Aires 9 hours nonstop. And with a 20 minute Uber ride that costs maybe like $10, I'm already at the airport and I can get wherever I need to go easily. It is such a dream. And now for reason number five, which is the weather. Every city I've lived in in the US so far always had one season where it got brutally cold. Like winters in New York City are brutal. Nobody wants to go out, it's super depressing. But Mexico City is temperate all year round. It is amazing. It never snows. The coldest it gets, it's maybe 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The hottest it gets is maybe 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The buildings here don't even have AC or heating systems because the weather is just so mild. So at least for me, the weather has a huge effect on my mood. So this is one of my top, top reasons for moving to Mexico City. It's much easier to be happy and go out and want to do things when you don't have to put on eight layers of clothing to stay warm or feel like you're entering a sauna every time you step outside. Next up is the language. Personally, I think Spanish is a beautiful language and I love the fact that I'm in a place where I can hear it and speak it every single day. Wherever you go, I think it's important to learn at least some basic phrases in the local language. So if you're considering moving abroad somewhere, it's really important I think that you're at least a little bit interested in learning their language. That's why I've never considered moving to China because as much as I love Chinese culture and Chinese food, I really don't have any desire to learn Chinese. It just sounds way too difficult. But Spanish shares pretty much the same alphabet as English. So you could get fluent in a reasonable amount of time if you make the effort. At this point, I've been working on my Spanish on and off since I was 18 when I started backpacking in Latin America and in Spanish speaking countries. So I am pretty fluent by now and that really helps a lot to feel even more at home in Mexico City. Although enough people here speak English that you could totally get around not speaking Spanish, but I really do think that it adds another layer to your experience if you speak the local language. Something else I love about Mexico City is that you don't need a car. The neighborhood that I live in has shops, markets, restaurants, bars, hair salons, pet stores, everything you could need within walking distance. The only time I don't mind driving is when I'm doing a road trip in my camper van somewhere fun. Otherwise, leaving a car in and out of traffic and trying to find parking in a city is not my idea of fun. Not to mention having a car is a huge added monthly expense that personally just wasn't worth it for me considering that I don't drive that often. Now, not all of Mexico City is walkable. There's just certain hot spots like Condesa, Polanco, and Roma that are really geared for people who don't own cars. Those are very walkable areas. 
Plus, Uber rides are super cheap here, so if I did need to go somewhere, I can take an Uber ride to almost anywhere in the city, which is most likely gonna cost anywhere from two to $10. I don't remember the last time I paid more than $10 for an Uber ride. So that goes back to the low cost of living that I talked about earlier. Last but not least, my dog Jupiter loves it here. I am amazed by how dog friendly some of the neighborhoods in this city are. I take him to all the cafes and restaurants. Sometimes I sit him right on the bench next to me and no one ever says anything. So a lot of shops and restaurants will actually even put bowls of water outside on the street for dogs. And the cafe that I go to almost daily actually has items on the menu just for dogs, like a bowl of cooked beef or chicken. And I often treat Jupiter to that as well. There's also a lot of green areas and parks just for dogs that are so amazing for walking and playing with your dog. So it's become part of my daily routine to take Jupiter to the dog park every afternoon to play with other dogs and play fetch. And I can tell he's really, really happy here. If you're single like me and you don't have kids, your pets are your family. So for me, this was a huge consideration in moving to Mexico City, literally one of the most dog friendly cities I've ever been to. So as you can see, there's a lot of good, practical, financially savvy reasons to move to Mexico City. But honestly, it's not only been great for my finances to live here, but it's also been good for my soul. As cheesy as it sounds, I just feel a lot of good vibes here. And honestly, that's probably the most important thing to consider when choosing a place to live. Like, how does it make you feel to be in that city? Is your soul telling you that there's something for you here? Maybe it's an intuition about the person you're gonna become if you live here, or of someone special you're gonna meet in the city. And these are the vibes that I'm getting from Mexico City, and I'm just super excited for this new adventure. Speaking of which, my next adventure is buying a home here. I am this close to finding my dream apartment, and I'm learning a ton about the process of buying property here as a foreigner. So if that's something you'd be interested in, be sure to subscribe and come along for the ride. For those of you who have been following me for a while, I love you so much. I just wanted to keep you updated on what kind of content you can expect from me going forwards on this channel. I will of course be posting my usual videos of money and investing. There's a lot going on in the economy these days and I have a lot to say about that. So you can expect the usual content there. But I also wanna start posting vlogs about my life splitting my time between Mexico City and van life in the US. I'm starting a new chapter of my life, basically just experimenting with what it looks like to live life on my terms, doing whatever the hell I want and not what people expect of me. Plus, I'm ready to start experimenting with a little more creative type of content, so I really hope you'll be interested in those videos. Maybe I'll start a different channel for that, but for now, I'll just be posting those on this channel. And last but not least, I will be posting videos with tips and inspiration on how to achieve financial freedom and build a life on your terms, not anyone else's, yours. All right, so I'm back to my weekly uploading schedule. Next week, I'll be posting a video about how to buy property in Mexico as a foreigner. I'll be breaking it all down step by step. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss that video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye.